Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking Essie 787 again. For the first week, first week today, let me tell you usual. This is part 9 of my series how I smoke a pipe. Okay, part 9. Now we're talking about basket pipes. Now, this pipe right here is a basket pipe. Okay, so this part might be a little bit long, but we're going to uh, discuss uh, basket pipes for your first pipe. Now, basket pipes, what are they first of all? A basket pipe is a pipe the pipe maker has made, um, it's a normal briar pipe, usually briar pipe, briar wood, and um, the only difference between a, a basket pipe and a, a new pipe, you know, a regular ba uh, briar pipe, is there's usually some big flaw in them. Now by a flaw, I mean in the grain usually, which is the wood right here, there is some flaw in them. Like, um, I'm trying to find the one here, um, well I can't find it, but um, the point is there's usually some flaw in the wood. And therefore, the pipe seller, uh, the pipe maker, doesn't want to put, put his name on the pipe. So, what he does is he puts a stem on it, and he sells it in a basket. You can find these basket pipes in most tobacconists, most tobacco shops, and they're sold in baskets for very cheap because they have a flaw in them. Now, they're usually made of briar wood, like I said, and they smoke just as well as good as uh, regular pipes. Now, um, this pipe right here cost me thirty-four dollars um, at my local tobacconist watch his cigar. Now, this was actually my first pipe I ever got my, on my 18th birthday. So, this is the first pipe I ever owned. So, and um, it's a great pipe, you know. It smokes just as well as a regular other pipe. Now, um, the downside to basket pipes, um, the disadvantage to them are, occasionally you can have problems with basket pipes. Now, if you see right here, the stem on this basket pipe is very worn down from me holding my teeth. I guess. So, um, bass pipes are not as high quality as new pipes, um, regular briar pipes, and they do have, um, flaws in them, the grain, so if you're looking for, um, what's the word, um, if you're looking for a very nice looking pipe, a bass pipe is probably not your, your bet, your best bet, but, um, they smoke very well as just, uh, they smoke the, exactly the same as, um, new pipes, except they're a lot cheaper, so, you can get, um, you can get basket pipes um, at tobacconists for twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars, thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars, forty dollars, and they smoke very well. I mean, they are very nice pipes, and they usually are smaller bowl pipes. Like this is a pretty small bowl pipe, not tiny, but a pretty small bowl, very classic look. So, and they smoke very, very well. Um, they just have a big flaw in the wood, so the briar right here. Um, but in the next part, we're going to be talking about a new pipe for your new for your first pipe. And the part after that, we'll be talking about expensive pipes. So I want to get into um, in these parts um, for your first pipe. You know, because it is, it is very ominous and very uh, intimidating to buy your first pipe because you're not sure what you want to buy. Uh, like I said, in the last part, a corn cob pipe is a great choice for your first pipe as long as it's um, a good brand corn cob pipe, Missouri Meerschaum. And a basket pipe is good too. But the next part, we'll be talking about new pipes. Uh, the next two parts, rather. So we're going to be talking about new pipes. And um, whether or not you should buy a new pipe for your first pipe. Anyway, give me your thoughts, comment, subscribe, press the if you want to. And, and peace out, peace out, later, and bye.